the first law of thermodynamics. This is a statement of conservation of energy. And what it says is that any change in the internal energy of the system. Now let me remind you um, about the internal energy. Back from chapter 14, the internal en energy of an ideal monatomic gas. It depends on the temperature and the number of moles. So that internal energy measures the how much random thermal how much energy there is in the random thermal motion of the molecules in, uh, uh, in the system. So that energy will change if you do one of two things. If you add heat to the system, so you take that uh, hot air balloon and you, and you heat up the air a little bit, add heat to it. That'll increase the amount of internal energy and lead to a, uh, an increase, yeah, it'll increase the internal energy. So if Q, if there's heat added to the system, then you can increase the final uh, internal energy will be greater than the initial energy and the, the change in the internal energy will be positive. So that's, what, that's a statement here. Q is positive when heat is added to the system. But suppose you take heat away from the system. Suppose you turn the burner off on that uh, hot air balloon and you let some of the hot air leak out or some of the heat leak through the, the thin walls of that balloon, then heat will be leaving the system and that should decrease the amount of random thermal energy. And in that case, Q would be negative. So all you need to remember for this is that Q is the heat added to the system. Think about uh, turning that burner on in, in the hot air balloon. You're adding heat to the system. That will increase the internal energy of the system and increase the temperature right here, as long as the number of moles hasn't changed. OK, so now what about work? And we'll do some examples about this. But what if that? Um, system, the air in that hot air balloon does some work. For example, if the, um, if the fabric of the balloon were, were stretchy, like, a, like an elastic balloon that you blow up, and, and you allow that air to, to expand the balloon, what that expansion does is it uses up some of that internal energy and decreases the internal energy of the system. Because those collisions of the molecules with the, the side of the balloon are pushing it out and losing some of their energy in the process. So that's why the work uh, done here is, is with a negative. So if the work, if the system itself, the, the, the gas inside of the balloon does work on, um, on its surroundings, then its internal energy will decrease. So that's why what we're talking about here. W is positive when work is done by the system. So if W is a positive number, it will decrease the internal energy. And the work done is negative when the work is done on the system. So that would be the case where, so if you have the balloon and, and something outside of the balloon smashes the balloon down and uh, decreases its volume. So you take a giant with his big hands or whatever and, 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 and decrease the volume of that balloon, that will increase the amount of internal energy. In this case, W will be negative, but a negative, uh, uh, you subtract a negative number and you get a positive addition to the internal energy. That's the first law of thermodynamics. That basically says that the, the energy has to go somewhere. That heat um, and the heat added to the system and the work done by the system have to be related to the changes in the internal energy of the system. Uh, let's do an example. The, we've got a system in, in part A here that gains 1,500 joules of heat and does, this, here's the system, 
uh, and it's doing 2,200 joules of work. Well, what's the change in the internal energy? Delta U is Q minus W. Q is the heat added. Uh, 2,200 joules is the, the work done by the gas. Since the work done by the gas is greater than the heat added, then the, there's a negative change in the internal energy. So what about the case where we've got, it's gaining uh, 1,500 joules again, same as before, but 2,200 joules of work is done on the system. So that work is a negative number now because it's done on the system instead of by the system. And so those numbers go in here, Q minus W, and we got 1,500 minus a minus. That's the case we just talked about on the last slide where the work is done on the system, somebody pushing in on the walls of that balloon, and we get a, a positive increase in the internal energy. So both of these processes, adding the heat and then doing work on the system, smashing it down, will increase the internal energy. So another example, the temperature of three moles of an ideal monatomic gas is reduced from 540K to 350K as 5,500 joules of heat flows into the gas. Find the change in internal energy in the work done by the gas. So we know delta U is Q minus W, and that's the first law of thermodynamics. We know, that's, and that's concept 15-3, we know from concept 14-10 that the internal energy of an ideal monatomic gas is 3 halves nRT. And so the change in the internal energy is the final internal energy minus the initial internal energy. Here's the final internal energy, 3 halves nRT final, minus the initial uh, internal energy is 3 halves nRT initial. And um, we just have to plug the numbers in. We can factor out the 3 halves um, So that's the three halves here. We got three moles. We got 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin times the difference between the two temperatures, 350 minus 540. Now notice that the um, final is 350. And we need final minus initial to have a delta. So 350 minus 540 is going to give us a negative number. So the actual uh, change in the internal energy is negative, meaning that the, um, the temperature will go down. Well, we knew that already. Temperature went down. And then finally, we can solve for the work done by the gas by solving this equation for W. So if I add W to both sides of this equation, I'll have W plus delta U equals Q. And then I subtract delta U from both sides, and I'll get W is Q minus delta U. So that's this equation here. Uh, we know that 5,500 joules are added, so we put this in as a positive. Note here, it, this amount of heat flows into the gas. It's added to the gas. And in that case, Q is a positive number. And then we know that we just calculated delta U as a negative number. And so the uh, work done in order to make that all happen is 12,600 joules.